What's up guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. It is uh, about 3.30 p.m. here on day six and uh, we've got an exciting day ahead of us. We're gonna make some big changes today and we are gonna work on self-sufficiency. So I feel like so far we've done really well. Like we've made leaps and bounds of progress. You guys can see this is our main island here. We have all the pieces of survival that we need for food and shelter and water and everything. Last episode we went out, we started diving some of these wrecks. We've got some interesting like machine parts and jerry cans and all kinds of little lanterns and stuff, which is pretty cool. We might actually need to use this tonight. We'll see what happens. We'll try it out. But um, one thing that we haven't really made any progress on is, is food and water. So we're still going out and we're, we're, you know, catching little sardines with our little, you know, fish stick thing and then cooking them over an open fire. We're going out and trying to find these fibrous leaves to be able to put underneath our water still to be able to get some water. And it's just, it, it's not very efficient. Like we want to be able to travel farther and explore new lands and stuff. And that's just like, if we have to set this up every time we go somewhere, that's going to suck. We're going to want better stuff. So what we're going to work on today is ways to kind of automate that a little bit and make it a little bit more efficient. So so if we come in here, you guys can see bird snares. I want to set up some bird snares today. So I was actually, I was looking, oftentimes there are seagulls over on these rock outcroppings kind of by the, uh, the shoreline. They're not out there right now. I don't know if it's because it's nighttime or what, but we're going to set some up out there and see if that works. Uh, we do have our fish trap. You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and grab that. Our fish trap is down here. I'm going to go ahead and drag this thing out to see. I'm not sure how this works. I'm not sure if you have to bait it. I'm not sure if you just set it out there and forget it. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but we're just gonna come out here. We're gonna set it right along this edge where it starts to get a little bit deep, and then we're gonna set it up. So we're just we're gonna see what happens. We'll leave it there for a little bit. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, that's fine. Like I said, I, I'm kind of excited to see what we can do with the, uh, the bird snares. So we're gonna do all that, and then most importantly, the biggest thing is we are gonna start farming. So you can make farm plots here, you can make wood farming plots, plank farming plots, or corrugated farming plots. Technically, we could make any of these. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to start with wood just to kind of figure it out. I'm not sure if I want to waste materials on the, the big boys yet. I'm not sure what the difference is. I'm assuming that the, the bigger ones hold more and maybe hold better water. But with that, we're going to be able to, to you know, harvest fruits. We're going to be able to get like the pee, pee plant that helps us when we get, uh, you know, poisoned or whatever. Like we're going to have more pee, pee plants that we're going to be able to harvest. It's going to be really, really useful. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Like I think this this right here, the kuwawa fruit, and then there's there should be another one on the island somewhere. We can plant those, and then every piece of fruit that we harvest and eat, those give us, um, I think it gives you two food and one water. So like, if you carry 10 of those with you, you're gonna be able to go anywhere you want, and you're gonna be good to go. So that's kind of my uh, my idea. That's what my plan is. We'll see how well it ends up working, but um, let's, let's get into it here. So I'm gonna say, let's start with the farming. Like I said, I think the farming is the most important. So we need four sticks and a lashing for each plot. So I'm gonna come over here. We should be able to make a lashing from this. And then we're gonna need four sticks. One, two, three, four. And then where should we set up our farm? Should we set it up over here? I hope you can farm in the sands. I feel like you should be able to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start on this little peninsula. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go to farming. Oh, we need a hoe actually. We need a crude hoe, not, not to be a, a dirty, boy, but we need a crude hoe here. So we need to be able to make crude hoe. We need a lashing, a stick, and a stone tool. So we're gonna need a stone, a stick, and another lashing. So we're gonna grab a stone, a stick, and we're gonna try to make another lashing. I hope we don't end up running out here. See, this is what I'm talking about, dude. The lashings are no joke. They take up quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. We might have a couple lashings in our equipment pile. How do we, ooh, okay, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna make our crude hoe. Oh, we need the stone tool. So we need to make the stone tool first. We'll make the stone tool. And then we're gonna make our crude hoe. So we've got a crude hoe here. Let me see this hoe. Boom, looks good, okay. So I think we can drop that for now. Or actually, we might have to we might have to be holding it to be able to, to make this crafting or this farming plot. So wood farming plot, boom. Okay, hold E to clear. Why is it, it's not letting me do anything. Let's go back, I'm gonna try picking up this fruit. Let me see if I grab this fruit if we can can end up planting it there. And you guys can see it does take fresh water. Are there any spoiled fruits in the ground? You can also plant 
spoiled fruits. It does take fresh water, but you get way more fruit back than the water you're spending on it. So it's it's just all about, you know, being efficient and making sure you water it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, plant the kuwawa fruit. Okay, so we've got that. We're definitely gonna wanna put some water in there, but we're gonna need a way to carry that water. How can we carry water? It might be under cons... Ooh. Water skin, we need to stick to leather and we can make a water skin. Ooh, how can we make, hold on, what was that other thing? You can make a clay water bottle, we aren't to that point yet. So I think this is what we're gonna wanna use our leather for, for right now. You guys know we got a couple of leathers in the last episode. Where'd we put our leather? Let me get my, my thing back out. We've got two leathers. We're gonna grab those, we're gonna grab our stick, we're gonna go up next to our tanner, tanning rack, and then we should be able to make the water skin. So now that we have this water skin, and this is gonna be helpful because when we go out on a trip, we're gonna be able to keep three servings of water in our water skin to be able to use it anytime we want. So we can collect up to three. I'm not gonna collect all of that yet. I'm just gonna take two, and then we're gonna run back here under the, the sanction of this moonlight, and we're gonna water this bad boy. Ooh. I thought one water was gonna fill that all the way up. Okay, so it's not as efficient as I thought it was. We're gonna have to keep an eye on how long it takes this to grow. So it was planted at about probably 7 p.m., I would say. Uh, we added water to it. We gotta keep an eye on how, how quickly the water goes out as well. Uh, but that's, that's, that's cool. Okay, so what's next? We're gonna need sticks, lashings, and rocks to be able to get bird snares. That's gonna be really, really useful. But we honestly, I don't know, I don't know that we have enough. We may be going over to the island to collect resources today. I, I feel like that's not a bad idea. And you know what? Technically, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this here because we really don't need much. I'm gonna drop pretty much everything we have. I'm gonna drop our hoe over next to the farm because we definitely don't need it there. Nobody wants to carry their hoe around with them. So we've got that. I think we killed all the snakes and everything over there and we could even sleep over there. So we could just go over there in the night right now. Let's just drop drop all of our stuff, make room in our inventory. Our food and water's looking okay. I'm gonna go for it, dude. I really am. I'm gonna save just in case. I don't know if it's a bad idea to travel at night. I really don't even need this lantern. Let's just go ahead and drop that. We're gonna drag this thing out in the water. We probably, probably want a compass. Just saying, don't want to get lost. So we'll pick up a compass, but apart from that, oh shoot, I didn't know that was possible. We got it though. All right, we're gonna get in this bad boy. We're gonna operate it. I think we're going this way. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Let me see my compass. My compass says, I can't really see it. Northeast is opposite of where I'm looking. I think that's, I think that's where we're going. I'm pretty sure. We're gonna hope for the best. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna head this way. We're gonna take a nap once we get there, and then we're gonna really harvest this island of materials. We're gonna get all kinds of sticks. We're gonna get all the lashings and stuff over there. It's gonna be great. The only thing I am a little bit worried about, and I, I feel like it pro it probably won't be that bad, although I do wanna make this a, crip, a quick trip just in case. Uh, I just, I don't, we only had three out of four bars for that farming plot. We probably should have fully filled that up before we left. It'll probably be okay. We just gotta keep an eye out for that. I think we're gonna sleep, wake up, check, check around like the, the island, like the wrecks around the island. I don't think this island has as many wrecks, but we're gonna check around it and then we'll we'll bounce. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and put our, our paddle back here. Now I did see somebody said, I wanna test this out. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Please don't many snakes out here. Somebody said you can put stuff in your raft like that. Doesn't look like it's very effective, at least not with the giant scrap, okay. So I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna drop this here for now. Oh my gosh, that went crazy. Okay, how are we looking on sleep and stuff? We may, we may even just hit this place real quick and then go straight back. It's not really that dark out here. I feel like I can survive for now. Bringing that lantern could have been a good idea. I just didn't want to take up another piece of inventory space. That inventory space is valuable. Looks like we've got one little wreck out there we're gonna be able to go check out. Lots of scrap and planks out here. I was hoping for more rocks. It might be in our inventory pile of rocks. Yeah, we've got a couple here. Some more sticks. We definitely need rocks and we need lashings. Those are the, the two biggest things. Oh yeah, we've got sticks galore here. We brought our ax, so we're gonna be able to hit this. We can grab some palm fronds out of the top. We're gonna be good. Sorry it's dark, guys. I wish, we probably have time. We could probably, what time is it? We're gonna need some food. We could probably, let's, let's just sleep this off so we can see in the morning. I feel like that's even more important. We've got yucca plants and stuff. Drink this. I don't know that we brought any food with us. That could be a bad thing, but 
We'll see. We just might have to catch some some fish in the morning and, and cook them up. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I want a stockpile of stuff so we don't have to worry about this. Oh, it's raining. Well, that's good. Food is definitely going down. I'm gonna go back over here, go back over next to our raft. I'm gonna pull it back up a little bit. Looks like we aren't gonna be going home anytime soon, huh? At least not in this storm. I'm gonna drop all these. Looks good. We're gonna make that, that fishing spear. And then if we can, shoot. We aren't gonna, be, we aren't gonna be able to get food in this. I guess we're just gonna have to take down palm trees and eat coconuts. We aren't gonna be able to catch fish when it's it's thundering like this. So I'm gonna get it like that, and we can drink it, and then we can we can knock it again to get the food. Now I haven't really had it make that much of a difference for my food yet, and I don't think it's good if you eat too many of these. That definitely just made it go up though, so that's good. Okay, that's just gonna have to be our backup plan for now. But we definitely want to go hit all these yuccas, get as many resources as we can, and then bounce out. This really screws up my plan. I wanted to go check out that container over there. Obviously, we can't do that right now. Like, this is just rough. I do see we've got some coconuts here. We probably want to want to hit these guys some. Rolling away from me. Make sure we drink them for the water and then eat them. Oh, hello. You'll be tasty. Thank you very much. Couple of coconut slices. I was not intending. I got, oh, honestly. Oh, dude, this is perfect. I just realized the rain is gonna water our plot over there. I'm not 100% sure if that's how it works, but I would imagine that's how it works. So that's that's gonna be really, really good. Oh. <laughs> I'm never eating that again. Well, that dehydrated me a little bit. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, man. Ooh. Mineable resource. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's the stuff we need a, a pick for. That's why we're out here. We're trying to explore, trying to find new things. Are these mineable too? They are not. That's exciting. That's good news. We're gonna search around, try to find some more of these baby palms to be able to get some fibrous leaves from. Just kind of waiting the storm out. Collecting what we can. We're gonna explore underwater afterwards and then we're gonna head back home. Dude, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be something if all these lightning strikes, if there was a way that they could like hit your base and set things on fire? I know that's an awful, awful thing to think about, but I really was. Oh no, are we dehydrated? Oh no, we're dehydrated from our diarrhea. We're gonna be okay. We can at least drink that right there. We're gonna need to cut up one of these downed palm trees to be able to get some leaves to put under there. And then we're gonna make lashings out of the things that we're, we're grabbing right now. Whew, just made a bunch of lashings. Looks like the weather is going away. We do have a little bit of water in our system, but it's not a lot. We're definitely gonna need some more help. I'm gonna keep picking up these palm fronds and bringing these bad boys over here so we can uh, we can throw them in there when necessary. Our food is looking okay. We could probably build a fire. Oh no, there's some spoiled meat there. That's not good. We can build a fire. We can skin that crab that we, we found. And we probably need to go get some more meat before the sun goes down. How much time do we have? I'm not sure how long that, that storm lasted. I'm gonna get, what time is it? Okay, we've got time. I'm gonna, where did I drop that crab? Crab's right, oh, we don't wanna pick him up. We're gonna wanna skin him. So I'm gonna put him on the fire. We're gonna cook that. We're gonna go get a little bit more meat just to be able to survive the night. And then we're gonna go swimming and, and see what we can find. Another yucca plant, what do you know? I'm gonna go ahead and pick all these bad boys. Aha, look who I found. Oh, oh, hello. I'll take the two crabs too, please. Gotta watch out for that, that poisonous thing right there. And we've got a bunch of sardines around here. Oh, this is perfect, dude. We're gonna have food for days. Have you guys noticed it has been raining a lot lately? It's it's rained the past two episodes and we hadn't had rain up until that point previously. I wanna go get this hog here. He's gonna get us some more leather. It's gonna be great. Hopefully this time we don't get attacked by any snakes while I'm not paying attention. Although I think the snakes only spawn once. I don't think they'll come back, so I think we're safe. This guy is hard to kill, okay. So now, I think we're gonna have to drop some stuff. Shoot. I'm gonna go back over here. We gotta cool down. Dude, there's so much to do and we haven't even been in the water yet. We might have to spend two days here, but then again, I'm worried about our, our stuff back home. I'm gonna drop all these lashings and the rocks. Need to find water. We should have some water. We're gonna drink our water. Pick up some palm fronds. Not gonna lie, it's hard to stay alive. I'm gonna pick up this meat. We can eat that. We can drop these three and we can skin them, and then we're gonna go ahead and eat them. And then we're gonna go back over there, we're gonna get the leather off the hog, and then we're gonna try to do some diving if we can. My goodness, this is uh, this is anything but easy. Here, piggy piggy, this little one went to the market, and this little one went to the square, and this one built his house out of hay. All right, not bad. Is that it? 
Oh no, we get more, whoa, we get two pieces of meat and two pieces of leather from it? Dude, that's pretty solid. Okay, so we've got that. Let's watch out for the poisonous starfish and whatever else, and let's see what's going on here. There's nothing in here. Okay, that was anticlimactic. That's not what I was expecting. There's nothing over here. It looks like there might be a little wreck off. Dude, this, I thought we were gonna have more wrecks. I was really excited to get into that container and that's all we got. We're gonna go over here. Ooh. That's a shark. It just made me jump. Don't make fun of me. This thing has nothing. So I guess some islands spawn boars and snakes. Some islands spawn shipwrecks. Some islands are better than others. I guess we can do a final loop here. I definitely thought we were going to get more from this, but hey, that's all right. We should have taken note of the time when the rain stopped so that we could know for sure how long our farming effects take, but that's okay. Are there any more rocks to be had? We definitely need rocks for our, our seagull traps. Those were kind of the main reason why we came over here and I'm not, I'm not really seeing any. I'm fine with that. Now we're just gonna have to figure out what we wanna bring home. We've got limited space. This is like Noah's Ark. We're gonna have to come back for you, mister. But yeah, we, we've got limited space here. We gotta make sure that we take the important stuff and leave the stuff that's not important. So to be fair, we did really well on lashings here, dude. Do all of these take up one spot in our inventory? They do not. They take up more than one. My question is, is if we drop them in here, do they stay? It looks like they might. So we, we might be able to do this craftily. I'm gonna put all the little things in the bottom of the raft. So rocks and lashings in first, just like women and children, the most important to us. So I'm gonna drop all those, we'll drop that. The problem is, is we don't wanna drop them through the menu like that, we wanna drop them like this so they fall flat. Dude, if we end up paddling across here and we lose this stuff, I'm gonna be so upset. I guess we can save before we go just in case. But we've got those and now our rawhide, how big is this? That looks like that might stay. Okay. What else do we have? We've got fibrous leaves here. Definitely should have brought some sort of a lantern. I guess the moon is gonna help us out eventually. We can leave our fishing spear here because we have one at home, so we definitely don't need this. I'm gonna pick up all of our corrugated steel and sticks. And I, I think that's gonna be our, our main thing. We're gonna wanna bring as much corrugated steel and, and sticks as we can. Not enough inventory. What else do we have? We have a knife. We have two pieces of meat we can get rid of. Okay. I think we're gonna be able to bring a decent amount of things here, boys. I think it's gonna be good for us. So I'm gonna come back here. Medium meat is not done being cooked yet. Drop these two pieces of meat there and pick up these other sticks. I think there's a, um, there's a fallen palm over here. So yeah, we're just gonna bring back a, a bunch of sticks, a bunch of lashings and a bunch of rocks, and we're gonna hope for the best here. I hope we don't somehow end up tipping over and losing all this stuff. We gotta make sure we save before we leave, but this is gonna be like the ultimate pro tip for a bigger inventory in your raft if it actually works. Shout out to whoever let me know this in the comments. How are we looking on food and water? I wouldn't mind cooked medium meat. We aren't gonna have room for that, so I'm gonna drop my ax. We're gonna pick this up. I'm gonna nom on that. Let's pick this up and throw this over the fire again. Okay, looks good. Uh, I'm gonna take a few drinks here. I think we're just about good, man. I think we're good to try this. Oh shoot, we're gonna have to be able to pick up the paddle. Can... <sighs> we can kind of drop sticks in there. That's gonna free up one space for us. All right, I'm gonna pick up our paddle. I'm hoping we can stay in there with all of our stuff. Who knows what's gonna happen, but we're gonna go for it, boys. We're gonna wait for this last piece of meat to cook. We're gonna... Snuff out the fire, and it's gonna be time to go. I feel like there's definitely a lot less activity on this island. It's just so much more chill. It's so calm. There are no bats flying around or anything. I don't know. I, I definitely appreciate this island for what it is. She's done well for us, but we're uh, we're gonna have to get out of here for sure. Dude, if a storm hits overnight and a raft gets flipped and we lose all of our stuff and die to a shark, that would not be good. This thing is taking forever to cook. Come on, bro. I'm gonna be thirsty by the time you're done. But yeah, we're gonna keep everything stocked, keep everything good to go, and that way when we come back next time, we're gonna have stuff good to go. I, I think... I think we left a crab somewhere. There's a, a coconut here. That's not going to be good. And we don't really want to eat those anymore. There is a crab right here. So I'm going to drop him over here. These two pieces of meat we're going to get rid of because we aren't going to be able to use these again. So I'm just going to go, go throw them in the ocean. There it is. Okay. Let's grab it. Switch to something else. 
extinguish. We're gonna go ahead and eat it. We're gonna save. Got my axe on the ground and we're gonna go. Let's get it, boys. Dude, who would have thought rocks would be one of the sketchiest things that are really hard to come by in this game? If we shake it, will it will it kind of kind of drop stuff to the bottom so it's less likely to fall out? Um, it don't float! It don't float. It was a good idea, Trev, but it, it does not float. These guys, oh God, they thought of it. I thought I had outsmarted them. Are you kidding me right now? We're gonna drop all these sticks. So the most important things are the lashings. The lashings by far. We'll pick up all the lashings and then the rocks behind that. And then the, the raw hide. Dude, are you freaking serious right now? I thought we had outsmarted them. I'm gonna leave a compass over here because we have a compass on the other side and I'm gonna drop that. That'll open up two free spots. This game is too smart. I don't think we're gonna be able to bring any wood across with us. So looking at our inventory here, we've got six rocks, crude axe. I, how do you make a crude axe? Let me see here. If the crude axe, it's a lashing, a stick, and a thing. Uh, and two stone tools. Okay, so yeah, we definitely... Oh, I did not mean to make a stone tool right there. Try to think if there's any way for us to simplify this. I don't think there is. The thing is, is both of our tools here are getting pretty weak, so maybe we should. I mean, leaving wood is not the biggest thing in the world, and we can always come back. We can always come back for a second a second run so that's it it sucks i thought it was gonna work but it's it's whatever dude we just we gotta roll with it okay let's go let's get back i want to check out my farm i want to get my my what's it called uh seagull things built seagull snares bird snares if we have to cut down some trees on our main island because we really need wood we'll we'll do it whatever dude i thought we had them fooled all right guys so we made it back to camp as you guys can see we have all of our supplies organized here and uh, it was a pretty good run not gonna lie you know our, our lashings are on point now the problem is is like obviously we turned a lot of the fibrous leaves into lashings because you can carry more that way because it takes four fibrous leaves to make a lashing so you know you get more stuff out of it ultimately the problem is we are starting to run a little bit low on our fiber sleeves over here. It looks like we have one left to be able to make water. Uh, there are four in the still, but uh, that's an issue. Hopefully our farming takes care of that. But yeah, we've got that. We've got a few more sticks and rocks. Nothing too crazy. We do have a few more pieces of wood. And then we've got a ton of corrugated steel now. But um, we're definitely going to have to keep going out and getting more fibrous leaves. We're probably going to have to go to a new island next time. Maybe we should go over there. Or I think there's one over here. Yeah, there's one over there. We could try those out. But anyway, it is currently 4 o'clock a.m., about time for us to hit the sack. I wanted to come over and check on our, our plot here. Looks like we are fully watered thanks to the storm, so that's that's good to know. All right, I'm going to go back. We're going to take a rest. We're going to wake up in the morning, and uh, we're going to start building some, uh, some bird snares. So overall, not too bad. I liked it. I wish we could have brought all that stuff with us. Wish we could have brought all that wood. Man, it's kind of kind of tough in that regard, but we're, we're fine. Oh, look at this. Speak of the devil. Oh, we did. So I did leave one of my knives there. What do you need to make a knife? It was almost gone anyway. And then you guys can see, where do you make the knife at? The refined knife is down here. So we need a stone tool, a wood stick, and a lashing. That's going to be easy. So we're going to be able to just look right here. We're going to be able to make that stone tool. And then we're going to be able to make that refined knife. So boom, we've got that easy enough. And now we've got some fibrous leaves here on the home island. I was honestly not really expecting that, but that's that's going to be greatly, greatly appreciated for what we need. Dude, all three of our yucca plants were, were good to go. I guess we spent more time out at sea than we intended to. That's a, a positive effect of that bada bing bada boom all right so i'm just i'm gonna keep all these as they are i'm not gonna turn them into any lashings or anything since we have plenty of lashings and we're gonna use these as, as water fuel i guess you could say let's go around and pick up all these again you guys know they spawn every couple days so when they spawn you definitely want to hit them up as soon as possible then we're gonna work on those bird snares not gonna lie i was a little bit nervous about this I didn't like that we didn't have many fibrous leaves in, uh, in reserves because these are so important. But, dude, we're, we're going to be golden. Look at all these things. There's one here. There's one over here. Good thing these things grow back so quickly. I think I saw one over here. Yeah, dude. We've got uh, we've got 31 in the inventory, all right. I think we're going to be good for a while. We are getting a little bit low on food and water. So let's go ahead and drink two drinks of water. Throw those back on there. And then I'm just, I'm going to say let's... Let's just drop all these right here, dude. It's gonna be so many. We're never running out of water, baby. Whew, that is beautiful. So we've got that. Let's pick this up. We're gonna start ourselves a nice little fire. Ooh, we don't wanna refill it with that. We wanna drop this over here. Gonna start ourselves a nice little fire, make some food, and then it's gonna be time to, to hunt the bird. Oh shoot, it's raining. Can we start a fire in the rain? Does that work? I guess we're about to find out. 
We've got our backlog of, of fish and stuff here. This island is definitely home, dude. Like, I, I feel way more comfortable here. I feel like I, I know exactly what's going on. I feel like we, we you know, have, have everything down to a science. We're gonna attach it to the campfire. I kinda wanna, I wanna try smoking these things again. I'm not gonna use too many pieces of meat, probably three pieces of meat. I just wanna try smoking them and I wanna, I wanna see if it works. We hit it with the hammer like somebody said. It, it'd just be really nice because smoked meat lasts for a long time. So I'm gonna throw that up. We're gonna grab a stick and we're gonna go stoke the fire with it. Probably grab another one as well. And then we're gonna, we're gonna start getting the stuff ready for these bird snares, but I wanna put the snares where the birds are and obviously the birds are not gonna be here right now so we may even have to take a, a nap or something so i slept the storm off i was just honestly a little annoyed i'm not gonna lie i didn't i didn't want to wait for that thing to go so it looks aha okay so we got a fruit there the plot is looking fairly watered we can water it fully with our little little thing here and now we've got a fruit can we hmm we can't place it back down do we just eat it we've got we're missing three meat and two waters we got two meat and no waters for that i'm not sure maybe we didn't wait long enough or what but i think now we have this tree that's just going to keep giving us fruit the the main tree that we originally got this fruit from is not going to work anymore it's not going to keep harvesting it what we should have done there is taken that fruit and then started another plot and then it's exponential from there so you're getting way more fruits but i just wanted to see how it worked okay cool dude it's rough so to be able to make this bird snare it takes a rock three lashings which is 12 of those fibrous leaves and then two sticks. So it's gonna take quite a bit from us here. Oh shoot, we have nine lashings in our thing. Hold on. Well, that's gonna make it a little bit better. I was gonna say, we were looking really low on lashings, but uh, we're gonna make two of those things in the morning when we can. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this, fill one up, take a couple leaves, replace them, and then can we sleep yet? Can't sleep again so soon. All right, we're gonna wait till daylight to see where these birds like to hang out. Aha! So this guy was on that one. Do they just like the rocks? I'm, I'm gonna try to set one up right here. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna go for a bird snare. Just like that. Oh, I thought we were gonna catch him right off the bat. And then I, I saw a second one over here on this set of rocks. These guys just really like the rocks. I'm gonna set a second one right here. I'm not entirely convinced. Oh, we need three more lashings. I Shoot. It was telling us we had nine lashings because it was counting the ones that were down on the ground. That's that's what was going on. So we are gonna look a little bit a little bit low on lashings here, but technically we have quite a bit of the, the fibrous the fibrous leaves right now. So I'm I'm not too worried about it. So we have we have one right there and I saw another seagull over here. I'm gonna set these up on, on these two sides. I'm not even really sure how these things work, but I'm gonna hope that these guys come and I'm gonna hope that it takes them out. So I'm gonna set it up right like that. I'm imagining they, they land on that and then the rock drops and it grabs their leg. I guess, yeah, that's gotta be what it is. Okay, cool. We've got those set up. Oh, we've got our fish trap. We haven't checked our fish trap. Let's go check that. And then apart from that, I, I feel like this has been a very, very highly successful episode. We're gonna let these things run for a couple of days and see if they, they get anything. Where, oh, where did we put our fish trap? I'm gonna grab all these sardines because why not, dude? Our fish trap was right here, and it looks like it still hasn't caught anything, so that's fine. I'm okay with that. Sometimes fishing is a, a patient man's game, so that's exactly what we're going to do. So anyway, yeah, I feel like that's a great spot to end it. Very exciting episode today. Um, future plans, traveling to new islands. Uh, going to keep farming, keep working on these bird traps and, and fish traps and everything. But traveling to new islands. I think we're going to build a, a pick so we can go back to that last island and, and get whatever element that is that rock thing that we had and then we're gonna go to new islands and check them out and see what we can find we've got to find some pp so we can start farming pp so if we ever get bit again we don't have to worry about dying and uh that's just kind of like the immediate plan for the immediate future so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already i'm gonna see you guys later peace out